Hi oh guys, this is uh, part two of uh, one man antenna mast video and uh, it is a cross section uh, of the bottom uh, area of the mast uh, showing the thicker uh, sleeve which uh, fits internally into the 3mm gauge mast so I'd say it started out as a 6mm um, gauge uh, section and uh, turned down to a little bit lower than 3mm uh, so it uh, sleeves nicely into the uh, the mast and allows it to rotate so I um, lubricate that section as well. I've also got a M6 bolt with the head inside the tube and a pair of washers uh, clamp the inner and outer wall of the tube after the holes drilled and then after that there's another two washers on the outside that's going to hold a bracket um, that is used to uh, tension the guy wire that's holding the antenna up. It was important to keep this bolt as low down on the mast as possible uh, without interfering with the inside sleeve at the bottom um, bearing in mind it's also going to act as a stopper for the outside sleeve so the outside sleeve won't go any lower than this so I've used M6 hardware to keep things consistent uh, stainless steel nuts and bolts and zinc plated washers and also uh, an M6 drill bit um, this kind of hardware is also compatible with the, the sort of turnbuckle hardware uh, that I've used for the guy wires and some other things so the bolts can't actually screw into those here's the turnbuckle I'll be using uh, to tension the cable and uh, it's got a, a spare bracket section of a 50mm U-bolt uh, which is attached to the nut and bolt that's inside the mast And the large thing in the center of this diagram is nowhere near to scale. It's supposed to be the Rio bar that's driven into the ground. It's not really responsible for holding the mast up. The strut does that. It just keeps it where it's supposed to be at the base. To aid in cutting the wire cable after I've marked it where it's supposed to be cut, I've cut a length of uh, heat shrink tube and marked it in the middle. Uh, then you can uh, shrink that over the wire making sure that the mark is where you want your wire cut clamp it on the opposite side the the waist side and I'm gonna cut the wire with a Dremel uh, so yeah who said the Dremel was good for nothing I've got no idea what you call this particular cutting tool so I'm showing you um, this is what I'm going to use to cut the wire Here's some video of my ass, and in front of my ass, I've got a vice grip clamped over the waist side of the wire, and I'm using a Dremel uh, to cut in real time. I've got eye protection, at least. And at this point, it's out with the old. Goodbye, you've served me well. No, you haven't. And the yard looks a lot different now. So down with one old obtrusive thing and up with a, a slightly less obtrusive thing. Nothing like a bit of rain to slow things down. I was having fun. Having cut the wire cable with the antenna in the elevated position, I'm going to have to use a cord uh, to send it up and down. I'll take that inside whenever I'm finished with it. Um, just be careful leaving cord in the weather. This supposed UV stabilized cord uh, I'm showing you has been uh, outside for 18 months without any tension on it. This part's only temporary. I drilled the uh, strut to fit a U-bolt through it so I'll probably still do that and then hit the, the part of the strut exposed to the weather with epoxy enamel. Fuck!